Hey guys, welcome to this video. Today we're gonna discuss about Object Identification Center of LinFT. Don't get confused by the name. It's very similar to Object Spy in UFT, which you are already aware of. Object Identification Center let you spy on object from your application and provides you all different properties and that property you can use for your coding. In this video today, we will see how Object Identification Center can be used for LinFT objects. So in this video today, what topics we are going to discuss? Let's see one by one. Features of Object Identification Center. Then we will see introduction of Object Identification icon associated buttons on the object identification windows customize object identification window how we can customize that window then uh, how many modes we have with the object identification center how we can spy on the object how we can highlight the particular object with object identification center how we can generate the code with object identification center capture an image of object and add object in application model so let's talk about features what features object identification center have so basically this points from our topics itself so very first is spy on the object we can spy on the object we can highlight the object we can generate the code we can capture the image of that particular object we can add that object into application model and we can edit the object and use regular expression right so let's see the object identification center for that i need to open eclipse so let me open the eclipse here okay this is my eclipse there we go and how we can launch the object identification center you can see here the icon like a black hat if you navigate mouse on that particular icon you can see it says object identification center just click on it and this is our object identification center so it's open twice let me move it here all right so this is our object identification center so if you see here the icon like a pane it says you can switch object identification mode to edit right then here something settings with the settings you can customize your object identification center besides that with this underscore icon you can minimize your object identification center with the cross icon you can close your object identification center if you click on the blue hat it will start spying your object you can see over here this square icon with this you can highlight your object besides that the icon says generate code to clipboard besides that there is a camera icon with that you can capture object image and again with this blue hat icon you can spy your object so let's see how we can spy on the object so for that what i'm gonna do i'm gonna open google.com so this is our google.com and this is our object identification center so for start spying i need to click on the blue hat so let's click on this and navigate your mouse or cursor on the respective object which you want to spy so here if you see i'm gonna spy google search button right and click on that okay so if you see so the very top panel which shows the hierarchy of your object so at the top it says okay there is a browser that's a google browser then web page that's a google web page and after that 
web button and the name of that web button is a google search and you can see the star yellow star icons that means these are the recommended properties which you can use in your code as an example here button type name and tag name these are the recommended properties right and here you can use css selector or xpath in your code if you want to highlight the objects then here this is the icon to highlight the object if i click on this you can see the google search is getting highlighted right so now next what we're gonna see how we can capture the image okay so before that let's see how we can generate the code so to generate the code you just need to click on this particular icon which I'm gonna display on the screen when you click on this it says the code for selected test object was copied to clipboard and just go to Eclipse and just paste it Control V so this is the code what we got from the object identification center it's asking me to import the respective package so let's import with the web for button again let's import with the web there we go so this is the google search button right okay now let's go back to object identification center and let's capture the image how it's going to capture the image capture the object okay let's go to desktop and let's say google okay so that image you can save with .png format or .jpg format so i'm going to save it with .jpg format click on save minimize all and here you can see open with probably let's open with paint okay you can see here google search all right let's open the object identification center again now this is how we can spy on the object now next is let's see what are the modes with this object identification center right so there are two modes one is a simple mode and edit mode so simple mode allows you to just view the object properties and values and edit mode allows you to view and edit the object properties and values why we need to edit the object properties by editing we can use the regular expression over there right and how we you can switch between both the modes so if you see there is an icon right which says switch to edit mode so for the demo i'm gonna spy it again the google search button okay we got this all the properties now i'm gonna click on this icon which look like as a pane which says switch to edit mode okay and now here if you see you can edit the properties like the tag name right it says input so what i'll do i'll try to edit it maybe i'll remove it i'll say submit or as a regular expression i'll say dot star right so this is the way you can edit your object properties all right now let's we already saw how we can highlight the object right if you click on this you can highlight the object let's close this switch to simple mode click on this you can highlight the object so in simple mode you can explore and spy object in your application and view the properties and values that linux captures right in simple mode the highlight button highlights the captured object in the application which we just saw and to refine a test object description if you want to change the test object descri description or properties 
you must be in the edit mode that's the most important if you want to use the regular expression when you click on highlight in the edit mode LineFK tries to validate the selected test object description and looking for the unique match if multiple matches are found then object identification center returns a message with the number of matches and highlights the matches in the application as well right so if let's say if you are in a edit mode what I'm trying to say you okay so in edit mode what you need to do you need to select couple of properties to highlight that object like I'm gonna select button type and probably the X path right and then if you click on the highlight then then button will be highlighted right but if there are multiple objects there are multiple objects on the screen okay and we are not selecting the unique properties then this object identification center message you that okay I found the two matches with the properties what you selected right and it will also highlight on the screen so after that again you need to select the unique properties for the object which you want to use or you want to spy and how we can generate the object description code so with this icon as we just saw so now the last topic is add object in the application model right so for this particular thing if you let's see first how to customize it okay so when you click on the setting right then you can see over there you can switch the theme if you switch the theme it become black right you can switch it back to white okay and there is a checkbox which says in a simple mode add page objects to application model right in a simple mode also you can add that particular object in an application model if you want select it and there is a, another options in which language you want to generate a code in your clipboard so linfk supports java javascript and c hash okay so i'm just trying to find why we are not getting the application model icon over here okay the reason probably we are not getting because we have created the regular linfk project right so what i'll do i'll say new other and now I'm gonna create the LeanFT application model project just to say how we can add the objects to application model okay I don't want to create Maven projects so click on next give a project name test application model give any package name and click on finish there we go now if you see here the application model is window is already open over here right so if you click on this object identification center you can see with this particular application model project there is one icon which says you can add the objects so let's spy it again on the google search all right you can see one new icon is added to object identification center that object that new icon is used to add or locate your object in application model okay so if you click on here it says oh you can add or you can locate or you can learn the child objects of that particular object so 
so now what actually add does so all objects that you do not yet exist in the listed application model i mean to say your object repository right if that is not exist then you can add this object to your application model or object repository while in edit mode currently we are in the edit mode right the object that is in focus as well as any checked out any checked parent object that means if you see for this web button this web page is a parent object that you can add that together you can add in your application model and what locate does if the test object in the listed application model matches the description of object identification center what it is using then the application model opens and the object is selected in that particular model right so let's try to do it i click on add and it says the object was added successfully okay now what i'll i'll do i'll try to locate it if you see this says okay web button google search is located over here and this is the design view let's see the source view over here so this is the source view right and if you see in the app model you have your project over here application model and this is your object repository application model dot psrx right so in this way you can use the object repository as well with linft right so what we will do now we will try to write one program and we will execute that program so this is my regular linft program let's go here okay and it says okay browser to navigate on the google.com right and we'll say just enter something to the google.com so let's open the google.com let's open our object repository or oh, not object repository our object spy and start spying on the edit box over here okay and now if you see i'm on the edit mode of this object identification center i'm going to select x path all right and try to highlight it okay and then copy your code into clipboard and paste it in your project dot okay let's use something dot uh, this is the edit field right so it should have set text and what text we going to set probably clean ft okay and then we will see okay this we will see okay click on the search button so click and remove this excessive code from here okay so these are the simple three statements the first line will open the google.com second line will enter linft text in your google edit box and third line will click on the google search button so let's execute it run as test ng because i am using test ng framework click on okay okay it started running if you see in the console now it will open google chrome browser it will enter google.com okay set the dnft text what happened okay it's still working okay, it 
has closed that first window and it, have, it hasn't set the text so why let's see it okay so the edit field what we use that is with the mobile that is not with web I mean to say so let's see the import statement so here okay if you see here it is mobile right so it should be web so what I'll do I will delete this okay and I will go here and I will import the edit field from the linft SDK dot web right and that's the reason I was not getting associated method like dot set value and let's set here linft make sure semicolon is there now this is the perfect code let me close this google chrome as well ok I close the browser let's run it again it's running I'm using test ng framework and browser has been opened it will say it google.com okay it has said google.com and it does very fast if you see the console it says one test is fast right but let's see whether it's really setting up the google.com and on that linft text in the edit box right so for that what I'll do I'll say something uh, dot seconds dot slip and for how much time probably 4 millisecond okay so I'm just uh, giving a instruction to slip for 4 milliseconds to that program so that we can see okay the script is setting linft text into the edit box so I'm gonna run this program again okay so now again it will open the google chrome browser and it will navigate to www.google.com after that it will enter linft text in google search edit box linft okay if you see for a fraction it has set the linft text in the edit box okay now the most important thing which I forget to tell you when this script will open the Google browser so for that we need to add extension of UFT to Google browser so that your script will identify which browser it needs to open so if you see on this Google browser here it says HP functional testing agent right if you go to menu more tools extension okay let the script run okay if you see it said the linft in the edit box and it has click on the search button and then it has closed the browser the reason it's closing the browser is if you see here after class we have given the instructions to close the browser if you comment it and if you run it again then it will not close the browser and you can see what 
kind of searches we are getting when script is clicking on the google search button after that i'll show you uh, where i have added the hp functional testing tool addings Okay, you can see Linfty in the edit box, it's clicked and you can see the associated search results. Now, if you see here, this is the add-ins or extension what I have added to Google Chrome browser. If you go in the menu, more tools, extension, you can see all the extension what I have on this browser. One of them is a HP functional testing agent, right? If you go to details, you can see over here what version of the extension, what is the size and there are one option allow access to the file URLs make sure it's on. Okay, If you don't have this particular extension on your Google Chrome, your script won't open the Google Chrome browser. This is the most important thing if you want to run your script with the Google Chrome. So that's it for today's demo. If this demo is helpful, please like and share. Also subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching this video.